Natalia Estimarova bravely exposed kidnappings, torture and killings in Chechnya before she became a victim of her work. Now, two years on, the authorities are failing to investigate properly and Amnesty International is worried that the dangers remain for those who are following in her footsteps. On, on the 15th of July, it was still morning in London when we heard from our colleagues that Natalia disappeared. Natalia's body was found in a woodland. We were taken to that spot. It's a quiet place, very serene. You can hear birds singing. Nothing disturbs that peace. And this was a quiet spot which her killers used to get rid of the body. A member of a Chechen armed group is now the main suspect. But the Russian authorities have failed to answer questions over discrepancies in the evidence, a failure to match DNA samples with all possible suspects, and an unwillingness to look into the possible role played by local Chechen police. Natalia received many threats, but they were not members of armed groups. They were members, they were Chechen officials, they were members of forces who were according to her work, involved in human rights violations. Виновниками вот этих похищений в абсолютном большинстве случаев являются милиционеры и представители вооруженных сил Российской Федерации. При этом мы знаем только несколько случаев, когда похищали боевики. Her case exposes the problems that she was dealing with, that people can get killed and no one will get punished for it. Despite the dangers, there are still those who are prepared to continue Natalia's work. In 2009, Igor Kaliapin and the members of the Inter-Regional Committee Against Torture decided to set up the Joint Mobile Group to investigate human rights violations carried out with the alleged involvement of local officials. После uh, смерти uh, Натальи Истемировой uh, стало совершенно очевидно, что честные, мужественные люди, которые продолжают в этой обстановке работать, uh, оставаясь без поддержки, мы просто обрекаем их на смерть. Особенно если этим занимаются uh, местные люди, uh, правозащитники из местных чеченских организаций. Судная мобильная группа – это юристы, которые работают вахтовым методом. Мы рассчитываем на то, что это позволяет значительно снизить риск этой работы. Нет какого-то одного человека, которого можно было бы уничтожить, и работа группы прекратилась бы. Важно, что наши противники в данной ситуации понимают, что они имеют дело с достаточно большим количеством людей из разных регионов России. We want these people to do their work in safety. We demand safety, and safety means establishing who killed Natalia and bringing those who did it to justice. But the truth may be uncomfortable, but until we know it, and until we are convinced it is the truth, we will not stop asking these questions. Natalia is no longer with us, but please help us protect those who continue doing her work in Chechnya today.